Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notice. Um, let's get this video to 1 million likes. Tell you from the rap to kid calls cops after his mom passes out doing drugs. Man, luckily this kid know what 911 is and know who to call and stuff like this mm -hmm. and was aware because she probably could have, like, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace that night. You know what I'm saying? Never know, but... God bless that child. So it is ridiculous. You're leaving kids unattended while you're over here getting your little high fix. The kids that were That's here, they're outside right now. Thought you were dead. Did you step outside? No. Because you can step no. outside. For what? Look at the house. Like, it's like they just, it's like they just walked in that bitch. When they moved in that bitch, they just walked in that bitch and threw everything. You know, bum 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 bum. Like, damn, they ain't even like, what is this? Officers received a call from a Look kid at this reporting door. that his mother was not responding to the door for several hours. Oh, he had to kick it. You okay? Ma'am. She's moving. She's responsive. After I kicked the door in. Yeah. Hello? That's crazy. Police department of fire. Can you need to move? Okay. They just broke that bed. Three nines. Like the hit. Semi alert. Uh, fires here work weather. We will need them. So, I never mind. They're 97. So, you have your tin foil there. Brown all over your nose and wrist. <laughs> hey, how about we be some honest here since we got kiddos that called us and you're over here passed out? It is ridiculous. You're leaving kids unattended while you're over here getting your little high fix. Ah, uh, for real. That, that is ridiculous. So let's work with them and try to help some things out. You got any ID, ma'am? What? Identification, that's what. I do have. Okay, this is ridiculous. It is. It, it sure has is. nothing to do with me and my kids. Actually, it does. They're the one that called 911. Well, definitely do. <laughs> the kids that were here, they're outside right now crying because they thought you were dead. What? Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Take care of your kids, oh, little girl. What's your last name? My last name is Weber. Has nothing to do with me and. and What's your first name, Miss Weber? My name is Ashley. Can you spell that for me? S H L E Y. So who called? Your kids, or somebody's kids that were here, the young child. What's your date of birth, Ashley? Alright, I'm telling you, the cops came and we spoke with them earlier. We explained all this to him, to the police, the actual policeman. He apparently did so. drugs, and the lady that is over these apartments, which is my best friend's mother-in-law. Um, she's saying like she's saying a whole lot of bull girl you off them meds you off them everything boy she off man arrest her and we explained all this to arrest her. her like she was here they had all this done okay but let's, so, let's focus let's focus can on, please right again, can can let's focus on what she what she was taking the neighbors has been nothing besides crazy since because and that was because the people that owned here apparently it was a big old drug house before I got here, and no. I was not aware of that. I'm just trying to figure out why what? there's aluminum foil in the bathroom. And I was just in the bathroom, and apparently that's where he'd done that, right up in that shelf. So, or not the shelf, the ceiling. Like, I literally just took my medicine and was getting ready to take a shower and get my kids. How did he what is she talking about? How you're not able to leave the bathroom? Sir, I just got here. We were starting to clean everything to get out. The next thing I know, I was I took my medicine. You next thing I know, do you not hear what I'm saying? So no. Take a no. medicine. Did he just leave you passed out in he, the bathroom? Sir, he was not here. The cops just picked him up. The right. cops just got him within him, not functioning or not functioning with them or anything. I literally opened the door, took. It's a Jared Merritt name on there. So when, not, when was he taken away today? Oh, uh, like, well, on one, two o'clock. We, we Bro, got what? Here like maybe 20 minutes ago. And whenever we got here, you were passed out. Are you out. not hearing what I said? I, I, just, you were unconscious I just took my medicine, right. went to the bathroom what? to pee. 
Yes, my, it was, I take it three times a day. Apparently, oh. that's where he had his medicine balled up in that with a foil, a, uh, a bag or whatever. I was literally on the pot sitting there within the time, and then the next thing I know, I was in the floor, and this has happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I can't tell you exactly. Um, she don't even know what she really talk about herself. Taking, no medicine. Shouldn't he know? Is she talking about herself, and bro? I told her I was going to call him to work because all this crazy stuff has happened. Um, all he, the owner could say was there was this wanting Mexican that stayed here. Um, and that was, they, it was hell getting him out. Bro, search I was the whole not house. I didn't any of this until um, all this started happening with the landlord and them for the HOA fees. And like I said, once again, um, the lady was literally a, a judge, like, that's what she is, a retired judge. So, her daughter-in-law has went to prison, all this crap, and she was my best friend. Bro, she's literally a yapper, bro. She's just yapping, and they letting her, bro. If y'all don't tell her to get her ass up, um, you been placed under arrest, and we finna search this house, you under investigation right now, bro. Fuck that shit. I'm tired of her just talking and, and stuff like that, bro. She's literally yapping. She don't even know what she yapping about, bro. She giving a whole life story. I'm not even listening. That's how much she's yapping, bro. I just hear her just, I'm not, it's not. Hi, um, blah, blah, blah. That's all I'm hearing right now. And I'm getting tired of it because I know she ain't talking about nothing. Because they ain't even listening. This nigga gonna hop on his phone. He looking around. And I don't know what the officer doing right here with the camera. I was not aware that this, this place was hot. My dad passed away. Went through a divorce and they offered to start renting this to me um, within my, in the month. And I thought it was just a good idea to start up here, start working at Mercy Hospital and just going from there. So, you can look at my veins or all this crap. Um, like literally it just happened. So like what happened when I got back? Well, then when I got back, uh, the door was locked. I was getting ready to take a shower. The next thing I know, I woke up to this. So what, like someone called, my kids called, what? Like we was getting ready to take a shower. I was getting them ready. We have been home work and we were going to just grab from the Mexican restaurant. I'm conscious on the floor, they calling your name. He ain't talking. Well, according to the notes that I saw when we got dispatched here, mm -hmm. and from what I've gathered from us being here, you weren't able to let yourself out of the bathroom. In fact, you were slumped up in the bathroom, and you weren't able to open the door. Mm -hmm. And then the kids got upset and called 911 because they were concerned about you. Right, and that's why. Hey, after you can close my suspicious activity. Is it that strong, whatever he had in that bottle? Like, them all clipped up in my eyes. Hmm? For him to just be on my medicine and me take it and be whatever it happened. Is it that strong to do? Like, I, I don't know exactly. Bro, what is she yapping what, about now? Besides of what I heard y'all say. Shouldn't make a pass now. Not my medicine. Is this a one-bedroom? Wait a minute. In the bottle. Remember what the powder was. They said it was fentanyl. That's what he was on. Well, if it was fentanyl, you wouldn't be breathing right now. This would be a whole different situation. That's what he did. So, it was powder form. He done it, got it right down here from the people about down below with their drug sellers of fentanyl. So, is that what he took? Huh? Is that what you took? Sir, I didn't take it, Will. I mean, did you not just hear what I said? No, I, I walked in after the fact. Can you not yell okay. at me? I'm so, just asking. Okay, so don't, don't give me attitude either, okay? I walked in after the fact. I don't, I don't, I, I just showed up, okay? All I know is you were passed out. That's all I know. Okay, when you okay. get the rest of the story, we can talk. Because okay. you're not going to, I'm going to argue. Right. So then just keep your mouth shut then, okay? Oh. We're not, we're not talking. I'm not asking you any questions or anything. Oh, wow. He hey, excuse me, I can talk. No, 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 no. No, you can't talk. You need to hush. You need to listen to him because all you're doing is just yapping. You yap, 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 yap. Like, bro, they just trying to find out what's going on. You yapping about a whole different stuff. What happened to you, buddy? Why is you passed out on the floor right now? And actually, um, could you step outside? No. Because you can step no. outside. 
Uh, unless you have a warrant, you're not no, supposed to. No, I, I, I have a legal okay. reason to be here. Okay. So. Well, like I said, my mom, my mom is a judge. That's fine. So this is a, this is recorded, fine. so that's fine. That is completely fine. There's okay. no reason for you to treat me like that's I'm fine. a judge. I, I just got the guy out of here that was. Good. So, you do not have to I'm be disrespectful, and neither do I. Okay. Um, who am I speaking with? Are you the paramedic? paramedic? Okay, um, can I get a shirt on? Because I do not like treat, being treated by this officer like I am some freaking drug. Like, I have no clue who he is, and he's not going to come here and disrespect me in my home because okay, he's a cop. He has nothing, but he's not going to sit here and act like this to me in my home. This is ridiculous. Can we do a few more questions? Get we it over can. with, get a shirt we on, can. and get everything over with? We can, okay. but he's not going to treat me like what, I'm, I'm an LPN to at Mercy Hospital. What like, What's your first and last name for me? My name is Ashley Weber. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. How do y'all work? Do y'all work like us when you move no, on? No, no. Do you want to check both of them? Yeah, we have And where are my children? Assigned areas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right so, like, y'all work here. We'll yeah. 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 So, this whole story is just. I mean, we didn't have to protect that, but. Did we, we, well, the other guys that were here either yeah. were like, what? You know? No, so. We work, so all of us that are on right now, we work 4 p.m. Okay, to 2 a.m. Yeah. And we work like 23rd. The bottle. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you know. So, I'm going to let y'all zone down. But what? What is. I'm just. So she's dating bombs and stuff. In my medicine bottle, and his was a powder form that was on my medicine, I guess. So no longer than me coming in, taking my medicine, going to the bathroom, getting ready to take a shower. Um, apparently, I was passed out. Alrighty, we got to do one more step because you won't go to the hospital. That's fine. Talk to our medical director. Can you talk to him real quick? Yes, that's perfectly fine. So how long have you lived here again? What did you say? A couple months? Uh, oh, sorry. No, I just moved. I, we got here in August. In August? Yes, and everything was fine. Um, with the per with the path of that, um, my now ex-boyfriend yeah. was working at this liquor store. Up here, um, and so it was a big old deal of the neighbors, or the people that owns here, mm -hmm. is my, they lived here in, in the past, and she went to drug court, she's been in prison, all that. My dad passed away, I went out the 13th year. I'm, I'm so confused, what is she talking about? I'm low-key about to skip through this video, because all she's doing is yapping and yapping. I'm tired of hearing her yap. It ain't even about the situation, bro. What happened? Marriage. <clears throat> so anyways, I work nights, 24-hour shifts. Yeah. And apparently, in the process of these, me working and him working these hours up here, he was messing with these people down here that literally sell fentanyl, yeah. um, and the girl's pregnant too. And anyways, all this was happening when I was at work. Come to find out, I found out everything that happened and started kicking him out with the cops when he was turned in. Um, they knocked on the door this morning. I was going to let him in to get me. Um, so, so he's in jail now, right? It's as of today. Yes, and it's not for something he did. I guess they have a hold on him. Oh, he has um, 10 business days to let Oklahoma City, or not Oklahoma City, Sequoia County come and get him from Oklahoma City. So okay. He had it all, like, in this bottle, in a uh, the pool. He had it all, like, in the in my medicine. Yeah. To apparently, I guess, to hide what he was doing. Right. I'm literally clueless when it comes to medicine. I don't know until I started. The people that did live here, they said if we find any drugs or whatever, um, it is from them, and they said they had it hid in that wall right there. Is that that's where you had it? No, they said that's where they always had their drugs. Oh, okay. Right there. Yeah. What is that? that? thing that comes up. Yeah. This is so, on. anyways, um, it was all and all that happened, and I guess that's where he was on it, too. So, when I figured out all this stuff, I said I would not allow this around my children. And I um, was in the process of kicking him out, and then he kind of flipped shit and was like to, almost to the process of like, um, when oh. they uh, hold it, like he 
could let me go as long as he was with me, if that right. makes any sense at all. Like, I, I would rather I'd be able to go through my day. That's crazy. Yeah. So, anyways, after I get the kids, literally, we went to get something to eat, put the $10 in gas, and came back here to take my medicine. And I was still paying. Um, he had put enough wool, the whole box, and used that drawer right there, the far drawer. Over here. Yeah, it's always his drawer. It's what he used. What's his name again? Michael Norman. But he's never been in trouble up here or anything no. until this happened. And the people downstairs, Daniel and Lacey, I don't know Daniel's last name, but I do know he hates me because we offered him fentanyl more than once. Uh -huh. more, and because we had a dog, that's, which is my mom's now. But <clears throat> every time we'd go walk the dog, yeah. he was out there on working on his... Uh, She's just zapping, bro. I don't even know. It's a silver SUV type thing. Yeah, rest already. But he would be up there till like 3 o'clock in the morning. And um, every time that he would be in contact with my feet, it was over drugs. Right. It was over the call. Until finally I caught him, flipped shit, and um, that's why he's out. That he was using my medicine bottles to put his stuff in. Gone completely. Which is not a big deal to me because like, I don't take them every day. It was right. literally as needed. And it was usually like if I needed it, it was the time to be like when I came home. I'm because, keeping a butt with y'all chat, bro. This all happened. Huh. You kind of just took over. Yeah, I started paying the rent and everything. Just, yeah. okay. It was never with them drugs. Like now I'm scared. I have to have this medicine every day that I take. So now I don't know. <laughs> like if it happened like that, then I don't know. If I should throw it away here or what, I, but if I don't take it, I'm going to be sick. If you do start to feel worse, if you feel faint again, please, 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 I cannot stress this enough, call us back. Oh, they, gonna, they ain't going to arrest her? Again, and for whatever reason, I'm not interested in, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm solely here for your health and well-being, right. okay? If anything changes, you start to feel faint or feel more sick or you're going to pass out, I need you to call 911. Right away, okay. That's, I mean, yes, sir. Okay. That's fine. Um, that is me. I don't know what should I not take. Throw my medicine away. I'm supposed to take it three times a day. No, I would only take only take your medicine as is re recommended by your doctor. So um, don't that's take any I'm less saying. or don't take any more, and um, that's fine. If you're taking the medicine that's recommended by your doctor, yeah, I'm saying if that powder stuff mm -hmm. is in there. Like, I don't know how much guy out of what he had. Oh, that was fail. Whatever. Bro, she's just rapping, bro. And they just letting her, dog. Like, as soon as I took that, apparently fentanyl was in there. Um, I don't know what it was powder for. So I don't know what's on the bottle and what's not. Or, you know, the pills. Or should I throw them away? Or, I mean, I don't know. But I'm so sick of my medicine. If this were prescribed medicine and it hasn't been tampered with, I wouldn't throw it away. I would continue taking it as your prescription. It was, because that's what he used yeah. to put. Like, that's exactly what I took. If, yeah, if that's prescribed to you and you're taking it like you should, continue. With exactly. With powder in there, though, is what I'm saying. Well, I don't know what that powder is. So I would Toss probably some powder get some powder yourself, bro. Powder, right? I'd probably put it into a different container. But what I'm saying, it was already all over the pills. <laughs> like... I don't know. I would, I would say follow up with your doctor. I can't identify what that is. I would give your, do you, you have a primary care doctor, right? You prescribe that to you? I would. I'm scared. Um, so I, I, I show up here. You're obviously, you know, I've been breathing, talking, and, and so on. Um, I, I don't know what what's, what's going on. I don't know the backstory. Um, so my name is Officer Ochoa. Welcome to the city. Okay. What is your name? Ashley. Ashley. Okay. Ashley. So here's what's going to happen, okay? Like I said, I don't have details as to what happened or anything. There's another officer that was here before me, as well as my supervisor, okay? So what I need you to do right now, what, we're, what we are going to do right now, actually, is you and I are going to go downstairs, okay? Um, I'm going to have you sit in my car while we get while I speak to other officers and see what, what we're going to do, okay? Obviously, we need to make arrangements for, like he said, you know, he'd like another adult to be here with your kids. Exactly. You know, and, and all these yeah. things, okay? Right. Sure. Now, for you to sit in my car, you, you you will be in cuffs in my car, okay? You can't sit in the back seat of my car without without cuffs, can okay? Per policy. Excuse me. Can y'all not come in here and sit with me? I'm not. No, we'll, we'll have to go down there, okay? And, and and your kids are down there. I mean, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna cuff you in front of your kids, you know. But I'll 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 I'll, I'll have you sit in my car and your kids. I, I I said I saw them when I came up here, but I don't know exactly where they're at downstairs, okay? Um. Um. I mean, I don't feel comfortable going in and getting Okay, up. well, not too bad. 
No, we're gonna stand up and do the cuffs. Hey. We're gonna go ahead and stand up. I don't care. We're gonna, I don't care how. So she is going to jail. Huh. We're standing up. Okay. okay. I Run mean, what am I going? To, what is going on? Like as far as. Can you like tell me what I'm getting? Like, am I going to jail? That cops. That what? cop came in that bitch, still done been a nigga, you ain't going to jail. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm tired of all that. That's what I'm saying. He tired of hearing all that yapping. Now, now you going to jail. Bye-bye. I took my medicine and it had fentanyl. Are you serious? 100% serious. This is not okay. You admitted to him. Admitted to what? It's that was that. in your hand. I did not admit to that. That was a lie. I told okay. y'all that he just went to jail this morning. Okay. This is ridiculous. Sure is. Like y'all, sir, please do not be rude to me. I don't know. I'm not. I pulled. I, I, I. You want me to be rude? I could have left, put you in front of your kids. I pulled over here so your kids aren't seeing handcuffs. That That's not I'm being rude. That's being considerate. Not explaining what y'all's doing. Like, I just told mean, you you're going to jail. Obviously, the kids gonna know that you went to jail because they, they ain't gonna be in the house with you tonight. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like y'all are sitting here saying this. To do with him and his fentanyl powder was on my medicine from the people downstairs. This you way. smoke your pills, huh? I don't smoke my pills. Like y'all are not listening. To what the okay, well, your story I not I not bad enough. And, and, and they, and they did not. In. You did not. I didn't let fire, you. Fire! Fire tore the door off the hinges. I'm talking about this morning. We weren't here this morning. This is this afternoon. I'm talking Six about in the afternoon. Oh my god! This is ridiculous. Oh my god! I here saying I said I smoked. Oh my god! That was not said either. Okay. Well, that was he just yapping. Like, what the f you know, inside your body or inside your cavity or something like that? Oh, she charged a child in the clip. I'm a nurse. No, I don't. Okay. I'm just checking if you didn't drop anything back there. She was, she was charged a little child in the clip, if y'all didn't know. Um, bitch, I like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all for tuning in with me today.